Welcome to Japan, a place with anime, video games, and streamers. And the embodiment of all of that, Trash Taste, an anime podcast that just started streaming in Japan. And by Trash Taste, I really just mean Connor. We're talking cycling, eating, flirting, and awkward moments. The thing with Japan is, it's a massive content hub filled with nice scenery and pop culture references. And for the people that can't go there, they vicariously live through the people that can. And even the channels based on anime content have pivoted to Japan-based content because of how much more fun and successful it is. Anime content is hard to grow, I should know. But the Trash Taste Boy streaming in Japan hasn't been problematic. Outside of a few stream sniping incidents, it's been pretty wholesome. There's more drama between them and their subreddit. And despite Japan not being the paradise everybody thinks it is, there's definitely a culture of understanding and respect that some people disregard. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. The problem with this moment is that it made people forget just how disrespectful Logan Paul was actually being before that incident. Logan Paul, that cop! Ah! What did he do? No. And fast forward to today, this type of disrespect still exists. I'm gonna go with her and we are gonna go have sex. Oh, it's working, it's working, it's working. Wanna join my hot up? Alright. I wanna see a big bulging Meet Jake and Bake. A subreddit called Asian Identity accused him of being a sex pat or a passport bro. Basically a guy who couldn't get women in his own country, so he uses his status and money to win over women overseas, usually in less developed places. I firm the guy I'm calling the cops. <laughs> Losers. These guys are losers. But for Jake, I don't really see that. Sure, Jake hasn't been perfect. There's been loud donos in restaurants and a bizarre video of him fooling around on stream. He said it was an accident and apologized. I'll take his word for it. But it feels like the resentment is coming from him being a white guy in an Asian country. And given his antics and the fact that passport bros exist, I can see why people are uncomfortable with the idea of him. Even Jake seems a little uncomfortable with foreigners taking advantage of that dynamic. Oh, if you go to like certain places, certain bars it's like oh you can find uh, Japanese girls that will be more interested in foreign guys uh, or whatever I've always found that to be a little bit um like scummy? Look, it's no secret that Asian women and white guys like to date each other, per stats. I don't have a problem with that. You're allowed to have a preference. But using the video from the same post calling him out. She loves Asian girls. That's not That's true. Not. That's why. No. Yes. Of course. What? Oh, we nice. No, we hell no. No, I like anyone from anywhere. Guys, girls, I mean. Not everything is racially motivated. Sometimes it's not white savior complex to save girls from creepy guys, and being creepy is not inherent to Asian men. Oh, Jesus. Huh? These types of people just exist. The energy this subreddit has for Jake has been misdirected, and I'll show you where to direct it. This is Suspendus. You've probably already seen a video of this guy. He's a kick streamer and an Ice Poseidon groupie. And together, they broke the only ATM in a small Japanese town. Passport and passport. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, they're different? Yeah. They were instigating fights. Yo, what are you gonna do? What the fuck? Oh, man. Dude, not a fight. It's not a fight. And of course, upsetting restaurant owners. The old classic. Oh my god! Okay, we gotta go. Suspenders was called out recently by a lot of big YouTubers for playing music loudly in a train and pissing off the locals. In English, we say chill, chill. No, you, in Japanese, we say disappear. But there were worse allegations that were missed. He was recently exposed for allegedly having intercourse with a woman while her kid was in the room. So she's telling her kid, let's go. So if any of you guys were wondering if the kid was outside, the kid was inside. He said after that he was playing a trick on his viewers, and even if that were to be believed, why the fuck would this be an idea you come up with? What a disgusting human being, dude. Who the fuck are you, bro? You're the disgusting human being to think that I would ever do some weird shit like that. And I find that hard to believe given that the video keeps getting taken down. From suspend us to the mother to the chat that watches is garbage. They're all terrible people. And unfortunately, there's more. While streaming in Japan, suspend us and another streamer were singing karaoke with two women. The problem? One of the women were incredibly drunk. Her head kept falling over and she barely looked conscious. So what did they do? They made out with her. Suspend is even saying that. She doesn't like me. Everybody in my chat said that she doesn't like me. Really? And then before leaving, when she was laying down, again looking barely conscious, he went back to kiss her. <laughs> Can we go, Sus? Hey, let's go, man. And his friend's not innocent either. What? I feel like you're the only one that has issues. Serious? Whoa! 
You kissed another girl. Hit his ex girlfriend. One time I I slapped her. It's okay, it's okay. Let's just stop. No, 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 no. This guy still having a platform where he can allegedly commit crimes is insane. And the fact that he can walk around Japan without repercussions is an injustice. This guy's a scumbag. You fucking. You fucking. It feels like some streamers go to Japan to purposely cause problems because there's an understanding of respect. Welcome to the cum zone. Even the comments have picked up on it. So while you have streamers like Trash Taste that appreciate the culture, there are others that want to disrupt it. On one end, we have an extreme situation like the one I just described, but I wouldn't feel right if I didn't cover the opposite end. Sure, there's been streamers that have caused some issues, but the thing that's really ruining Japan is Japan. <laughs> あの、感じないのかもしれないですけど、自分の部屋にしか居場所がなくなったというのも確かにあるんですけど、寝てたりしても動けない日はずっと寝てるか、生きることが怖くなってしまう。あんまりこう、社会に合わない、可愛いんだ